using dvc command uh, it says the redefinition of group name uh, case as group two uh, this kind of error arrives uh, when i try to use bash uh, the dvc command not found uh, it says dvc command not found uh, for your information i have uh, i i already installed the wxl if uh, it can help uh, this is my issue um, okay uh, can can you get back to the to the vs code screen uh, if, uh, and where the initial error was um yeah anyone who's already faced this problem Okay, so this this is happening. Okay, yeah, go on, Fista. I'm not sure if it's just from my end, but I could I could ensure that. Fisa, uh, I think your mic is breaking up. I, I, I'm not sure if it's just from my end, but we can't hear you. Um, anyone else here, Fisa? Mm, okay. So, yeah. Uh, so maybe you can type it on the chat. Okay, but what 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 is happening there? Like when you do a DVC add, is that what's uh, happening? Yes. Uh, so when you try, to... I try, I just uh, I just type the data does the data train does CSV in the many form, but I mean. Uh, so in the data, there is. Um, can you open the data directly? Um, so that's okay. So that's. That should work. Um, can you see? Um, yeah, we can see, we can see it. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. So check your DVC version um, on your terminal from Zelala. Okay. Okay. I'll, uh... mm. Okay, so are there specific versions of DVC that are um, creating this problem, Zelan? Um, if you faced this problem before, um, maybe we can list the DVC versions to avoid and to. Go on. Um, okay. Uh, I, 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 okay. Yeah, so DVC is installed already, right? Doubt that that was the case. I'll just think if you could. Ah. Okay, for so, um, yeah, okay. So, David, check on that. Um, Johannes, I think you were, you were also facing issues. Um, if you want to share your screen. Uh, well, you can see on my screen, I'm on the phone. Uh, um, okay. Uh, we, we can't see your screen. I, I'm sorry, I, I think I missed that. You can't share your screen. Um, that's the case, right? Okay, we'll get back to that. Um, yeah, Nathaniel, is your setup ready? No, unexpectedly taking too long, I guess. Uh, give me some more minutes. Um, yeah, that, that, that's okay. Um, yeah, and this is actually a really great time for people to debug the issues that they're facing. So, um, like, use this um, 
almost everyone was facing DDC issues. Um, so please like raise your hands, um, share your screen. And um, yeah, there are definitely people here who have there who have already faced the issues too. Because it's a different DVZ version. Mm -hmm. uh, can you hear me now? Um, yes, we can, we can hear you, sir. So uh, if nobody else has anything to say, maybe uh, Nathaniel can give us a one or two minutes uh, showing us how to set up the WSL. I mean, we for, some of us have WSL already, but what are we supposed to do? Maybe uh, if anybody hasn't have any questions, but if anybody has any questions, we can definitely check that on ourselves. Yeah, the, yeah, that 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 would definitely be great. Once Nathaniel um has um set up his computer, that that would, that would be a great thing to look at because I think a lot of people here um are using Windows. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's, that's definitely something to look at. Uh yeah, Gannett, uh, I I think you had raised your hand. Um. Would you like to go over? Mm. I, ca I can't hear you, Janet. Uh, I think mm. yeah. Uh, you're you're not audible, Janet. Uh. Um, you're you're still not audible. Uh, I'm not sure if it's from my end again as well. Uh, we can't see that also. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, till Gannett also fixes it. Um, anyone else who wants to share their screen and go over their DVC setup? Can I share my screen? Um, yes. yes. Uh, okay. Oh gosh, okay. Um, I'll have to change browsers. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay. I think you can go on that. Nobody is uh, yeah, yeah. using this time. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find the. Uh, yeah, I think, okay. Yeah. Now, Nathan, I'll uh, I think you can go on. I'm an Azar Nathan. Okay, uh, let me share my screen. Can you see it? Mm. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. Uh, it's not actually an error, but something is weird on setting, setting up DVC. Everything everything works fine, but uh, let me just show you. So I'm just reading the data set from DVC. As you can see, I'm setting the repo to the root folder of the project, right? So this works fine, but when I change the repo to my GitHub, GitHub link, see, there is an error. This is the same for us. Let me go through the authentication and 
we'll see the one it's, ne it's never loading mm -hmm. uh, maybe i don't so understand that in but why why did you want to change your people in the first place to github uh, is that how we should set it up Isn't that the right way? So maybe I misunderstood, but I thought the repository was not actually supposed to be GitHub, but rather the uh, overall uh, root folder where all our code is being uh, stored. Maybe I got it wrong, but uh, I even didn't uh, read anything, but I assumed that that was uh so maybe maybe yeah. Uh, yeah you're right yeah so the repo yeah it's supposed to be the <coughs> um the dot the when you go back to the root directory that's where you initialize your git repository so the dot dot slash is supposed to work but uh similarly setting that remote url should or should also have worked um yeah. uh, I, actually it works for the stores and the test mm. uh, data set but it doesn't work for the train data set that's mm. why it's been smooth so it's, it's now working for two of the datas um, yes those are already tracked and you've already pushed those tracked versions to github yes um, or it's or it, it's not just the first story that is um uh, so those so both your local git repo and your remote github are um are already the same is that the case yes yes um okay <laughs> um yeah and in, in that case that's that's these scary. are my tags and okay. this is the same as the yeah. remote tags um okay so can you see can you um can you get get status um to see um which where you're checked out at the moment it starts that's, that's right or uh or git branch no git branch to to see all the branches yeah yeah to see where we where where you're actually checked out uh how do we list where we've checked out um yeah okay so you're checked out uh can you zoom in a little bit how do i do that uh control plus maybe uh I'm not sure okay so what is it saying you're not checked out to main uh can you uh can you scroll a little can you scroll a little first right there um so it's you're checked out to the eda branch right yes. that's what i see uh so is your main branch and the eda branch um up to date uh, because if your local repo is, um, if you're, if you're, um, tracking your DVC versions on the EDA branch and the remote that you're specifying on the main branch has differences, that, that will definitely cause issues. Um, okay, so but, uh, after, after tracking the test data sets, I pushed to the main, then I checked out to the EDA branch. Um, okay, so can you check out the main at this uh, in uh, right now? Can you check out uh, get check out main um, and uh, and let's see if and let's see if the notebook still works. Uh, if that's the case, then. Um, and also, um, yeah, maybe try to remove everything in the DVC cache um, at the moment uh, in the DVC cache folder. Okay. Ah, okay. So there's there's a hot seat. Um, <laughs> there was supposed to be a hot seat. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Who I whose hot seat did I take over? Yeah, 
So once you run, yeah, okay. So that that's not reading it. Um, like, can you try to read the one that was working? Okay. Um, I tried DVC push, but it says it's already up to date. So DVC push is up to date. Um, yeah. Those branches are also up to date. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's that's definitely something uh, to look into. I think okay, so I'll yeah, that's that's a great area. Um, <laughs> So, just for the time being, can I use the root folder as a repo? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, do that. So, that, that, would, that would make uh, an error when using a uh, worker, right? Um, no, that, that wouldn't be a problem. Um, or you can use you can use Python to get the absolute paths as well. Um, I think some issue that you might face is when you try to incorporate it using CML, um, you're going to have to deal with checking out to that specific uh, branch or to that specific commit. So um, yeah, definitely when you take CML also into consideration, um, there will definitely be more issues. Um, but I think, uh, yeah. So this this definitely should should have worked if, worked if everything was was up to date. Yeah, so if you run it now, like with this as the repo, it still works, right? If you run yes. this now, the storage CSV still gets it with the repo yeah. as the storage. Yeah. Using um, the repo as the root folder? Yeah, yeah nice. right now, if you run this, it's, it still works. Yes. I think this was the one that was supposed to not work. Mm -hmm. it works. So, yeah, so yeah, this, this we're definitely going to check with the so I think, uh, yeah, uh, anyone has any issues, then talk to Nathanae, use the dot slash for now, and we'll get back to you. Um, I'm taking note of that. Um, Nathanae, the other Nathanae, um, if you can carry your screen now. Okay, uh, let me share my screen. I just had another error right now when I'm trying to set it up. Uh, let me show you. Can you see my screen? Uh, so, uh, 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 you can see the terminal, right? Yes. Yes. So, uh, I'm getting this here, the last one, DVC. When I try to update the file and add it to add that, I'm getting this error. DVC file cannot be an output. Uh, when I'm trying DVC add. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> this was my mistake. Uh, yeah. Uh, what I'm trying to do was just save the the first tense to uh, the store data and uh, try that. So my issue was, let me explain my issue. So you see, as you can see this code, this was the version one, the initial data. So when I oh, open it, it was uh, like this. So you can see promo since week, since promo to since week, promo to since year, uh, they are all have non, non, null values and also promo interval have null values. So uh, while I'm cleaning, I, I changed those values, uh, this one to zero and this one to actually four zeros as well. So when I saved that, and actually when I tried to read it here, after the version to store, it was the same. That was my issue. Mm -hmm. it, it's still the same. And when I, I was trying to demonstrate that by trying this, uh, just, uh, doing uh getting the first 10 elements and actually saving that to the store csv and versioning it that was what i what i was trying to show to them to demonstrate my error 
just to for demonstration purpose. Um, okay. So, so uh, can you can go up to what there is? Um, reader. Which one? Um, the, oh, yeah, this, this reader. Um, so it's the data frame itself, or? Uh, no, it's like the first thing element. Um, I'm just, yeah. just trying to... No. Okay. What, what is reader? Uh, uh, there is util, some util class I've created. Uh, some util class. So we try to um, get the data. The, the initial one is getting the version one, right? The version one, yeah. The, the initial version. While I was setting up the VC, I versioned it. Uh, them test one, version one, version one, version one for all the test training the store data. That works fine. Uh, the, reach the right version, but when I after I cleaned I, in my main file, this is where I, I've I've done it. So you can see here, like the if store represents like the in the the first element as promo since two like zero and also here zero and this zero. Yeah. But what I'm hearing there after I saved it here, yeah. After I saved it here, well, like the same that. Um. Okay. So the the it's storing it as another version, right? Um. Okay. You definitely DVC cache is gonna make you face a lot of problems so maybe um, you can clear if you can clear that cache and just load the uh, second version before loading the first version okay um I rem okay remove the actual file um no uh okay you can, you can also re remove the actual file as well um and also uh remove the leave the actual in the dvc folder Oh. Mm. I've just done that, and okay. Let me try to read it. Uh, still, it's the same. Okay. Can you delete the cache inside of the .dvc folder? Yeah, uh, I just deleted. Oh, that okay. So that was what you deleted. Uh, yeah. Delete the file as well, me. Um, inside of the. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay, I think there is a seat. Uh, ah, okay. So, I think let's see if we can put this issue. Um, maybe just go over quickly if you don't mind the WS installation as well. Um, yeah, for I, yeah, I'm yeah. just pasting uh, uh, this actual the, the actual documentation on this code, uh, how okay. to integrate the, the two uh, WSL one and uh, actually the Windows environment one. I just posted on Slack and here also in the chat. I just posted the documentation link. Oh, okay, great. Um, yeah, so definitely take a look at that. And I think, okay, let's see if it's still pulling the wrong one. Um, restart, restart your Jupyter kernel again, maybe. Uh, And just version. This is the version one. Let me show you the version one. Um, this is one. Yeah. Uh, let me go to the version two. And this yeah. is. Yeah. Like, okay, I wanted to get this one to get the version two before getting the version one. Um, because if it's starting, if it's starting the version one, that might be the issue that is causing you to not get. Version two. Uh, okay, let me restart it again and try. If that's the case, and also in the .dvc file. Um, today I think there can be a hot seat. Um, I'll I'm definitely passing it over in the next one minute or so. Um, Uh, still just, it's, still, it's still, still. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. So I let me read on uh, DVC cache and look into tracking multiple versions. And um, I think uh, I'll definitely get back to uh, you and uh, Nathaniel as well. Um, okay. Yeah, and also get back to everyone on Slack. Uh,
uh, is how this kind of property works. Okay, thank yeah, you. Everything. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, we didn't solve a lot of the issues that everyone is facing, but we'll definitely um, do that by the end of the day today. Um, yeah, uh, anyone from the Ten Academy team who's handling the hot seat um, can take over. Hello, everyone. Are you ready for the hot seat, guys? Though it's somewhat took long, but 